Hey, what is up everyone? This is Chris again with another ROM review. Today is going to be a overview of Discovery ROM. This is a new ROM that was posted over in the Zook fans forums maybe a week and a half ago, if that. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try and let you guys know. Let me just preface that this is not the latest version that I've been running. I've been running, um, looks like April 2nd um, version. They have released one as of today, April 11th. So bugs, maybe there's been improvements. Um, I would recommend always downloading the latest update. That way you get either new features or fixes, things like that. But let's go over some of the ROM, some of the features itself. Um, you do get a uh, voice over LTE. Um, that is good. I currently actually don't have my SIM card in the phone at the moment, but let's go into some of the customized settings. Um, not a plethora of settings um, compared to some of the other options like Resurrection Remix um, and Dirty Unicorns, things like that, but you do get some some settings here. You get lock screen torch by holding and pressing down the power button. U touch, you have option to enable soft keys or using U touch, which works fine, which I'm pleased to say. So swipe from right to left brings up recents. Push goes to open. I've always just like on screen navigation buttons. Um, the only thing I would use is the actual press to go home or maybe just a tap to go back, but that's it. Um, other than that, I use the on-screen buttons. Um, one bug that they are aware of, of course, as of the build that I'm running April 2nd, is that the home button doesn't wake up the actual device, so this setting that was turned on, when the screen is off, you press the home button, um, it doesn't wake up the device. So that was the only bug um, at the time. You do get your standard uh, status bar settings. Something else I had trouble with sometimes is when I pressed down long press on the location and changed it to device, um, I got a weird uh, notification wanting me to approve the change and then it just disappeared. Um, but it looks like it's working fine now. Um, no issue in that regard. So location, that's fine. So just want to let you know that you can change the text of course if you want to have the LED notification light on things like that substratum is built in as well so since this is discovery ROM they have a pixel like theme already um, so this I did not theme this this is the way it comes so that's kind of cool that they have that built in in case you don't want to deal with downloading different themes but of course you can download different themes from the Play Store and install those as well. Um, Magisk root um, is already incorporated into this. I prefer Super SU um, myself, but you don't need to flash anything else after you flash the ROM, it comes pre-rooted, so that's good. This is something interesting that I've noticed from this ROM and maybe different versions. When I go into display and go to display size, from what I remember there was one additional screen size to go smaller, um, but only goes to small, so I'm not sure why, um, if this is just a new new thing in the source, maybe everything's, everything seems to be working fine and smooth. Um, camera quality, um, as with pretty much any ROM, um, is, is average. It's not that great, but um, going through opening apps, seems to be working very well. Now let me do say that I do have the custom kernel installed on this, uh, Dark Moon. Um, shout out to DD3Bow for the kernel and his work in the community for ROMs and the kernel itself. Um, I have that flashed on this and I would say that kernel itself can pretty much change how an entire ROM performs. Um, it everything is just really really smooth um, so right now I just for the recording I have this clocked pretty high but for the most part I can run the CPU max down to maybe like 1000 or like 1 gigahertz um, for both the big and little cores um, 
and down clock the GPU and save tons of battery. Um, so with that, um, I was getting maybe about five and a half hours screen on time um, easily, I would say. Um, I haven't used this phone in obviously maybe about a day. It's been sleeping and the sleep on this with that kernel and the implementation that it has um, makes pretty much any ROM really great. So Discovery ROM is a go. I would say I would recommend it. Um, if you want a little bit more customization, I still, of course, would recommend uh, maybe Resurrection Remix. Um, Dirty Unicorns I haven't tested in um, quite a while, so I'm not sure the state and the stability performance of that. But um, so yeah, I thought I would give this a, um, a try. I really liked it. Um, I definitely recommend. Like I said, it is daily usable. So you're not going to have really any force closes, um, things like that. But if you are curious about how to back up a ROM, um, I will be posting a video. Go ahead and check that out. Um, I'll leave the link down in the description on how and where you can find that video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hopefully you found this video useful. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care.